being one of the most anticipated movies of all time, with a budget of $356 million, Avengers Endgame was definitely in store for some amazing VFX, including a revamped Professor Hulk. I mean, just look at the detail in the way the pores stretch and flex with the skin. Incredible. Hi, I'm Jamie Gutierrez from Fame Focus, and this is a VFX breakdown of Avengers Endgame. The sequence of Tony Stark lost in space on the M ship was mostly done by Cinesite, who created the lonely exterior shots of the ship, and also retouched Nebula's eyes to make them blacker. Her robotic arm was added by them too. And they also did the visual effects sequence where she gets the orb and damages her arm in the process. Cinecide also took care of the chase between Hawkeye and the Outriders beneath the rubble of the Avengers base. Choreographing the interaction between these eight-limbed creatures was pretty challenging. They created multiple animation cycles of the way the Outriders move, which included running, climbing, crawling and leaping. The scenes were blocked out first, which basically means key poses are created to establish timing and placement of the characters and props in a given scene or shot, and the animation was then later refined for each creature. One key aspect of Cinecite's work was the environments. For example, this shot was made up of CG buildings, vehicles and multiple blue screen shots of extras positioned on cards placed in Nuke to bulk out the shot. The sequence that involved Ant-Man giving Tony a mild cardiac dysrhythmia was also Cinecite's doing. Now, despite how disappointing the character may have been for some, you can't deny that the VFX on Professor Hulk were absolutely insane. What was also insane was how many VFX companies worked on the movie. 14. Framestore developed their machine learning technology in order to create a quick first-pass animation that could be used to help filmmakers decide on the edit before beginning the process of refining. Keyframe animation was then developed for over 60 shots of Professor Hulk. This procedure of capturing the performance was key for the animators. A new facial capture system was also created by Industrial Light and Magic, specifically to make Smart Hulk look as close to actor Mark Ruffalo as possible. Getting the right look and performance also involved scans, facial capture and hand animation of the actor, as well as some concept art for reference. Digital Domain and Weta Digital incorporated new proprietary software to put more detail into the face. Now, seeing as the Hulk's face is a lot larger than Bruce's, tiny changes to his face had a big effect on the performance, so a new subset of facial shapes was built to give animators more control in the animation, allowing them to achieve even more complex and subtle expressions. When it came time to shooting Captain America fighting his younger self, this was all shot on a green screen soundstage. Everything other than the bridge floor they're standing on and a set of stairs was green screen. problem was, all the detail added in the amazing CG set made it more confusing to follow the action on close-ups. So in order to get a cleaner silhouette of the cap, they had to go back and sneakily do things like blur areas and add more atmosphere to make the caps pop out more. 
For the cap fighting the cap, they filmed actor Chris Evans fighting a stunt double and had VFX company Lola track Evans' face onto the stunt double's face. And finally, for the portal scene in the end battle, before Tony Stark does the whole switcheroo with the Infinity Stones, Weta Digital's digital map painting department created completely CG environments. And rather than record everyone and everything going on at once in front of a green screen, which would be absolutely ridiculous, they compiled multiple passes that were each rendered through their respective portals with the same camera movement in order to key together and parallax in this incredible scene. If you enjoyed the music in this video, there are links in the video description. Also, please give this video a thumbs up to help us out, and let us know in the comments section what movies you'd like us to break down next.